About two hours south of San Antonio lies the community of San Diego, Tex. A speck of a town with just under 4,000 residents. Its biggest claim to fame is the infamous, Plan of San Diego, hatched in 1915 during the Mexican Revolution, which sought to reconquer from the U.S. government the portion of the Southwest that had been taken from Mexico in the Mexican-American War. While the Plan of San Diego was never acted upon, the rebellious spirit of this town's inhabitants resulted in one of the most fascinating tales in South Texas history. One that involves buried treasure, an empty Folgers coffee can and a plate of enchiladas. The tale begins around the time the notorious rebel plan was hatched. Its protagonist was a well-educated country doctor named Jose Garcia. Garcia, who got his medical education in Mexico, came from a prominent colonial family who obtained 18th-century Spanish land grants on what would become both sides of the Texas-Mexico border. Beginning in the 1890s, Garcia began collecting gold coins, according to family archives that would become important evidence in a Texas courtroom more than a century later. He had accrued more than 500 gold coins and built a thriving medical practice when the Great Depression broke out following the 1929 stock market crash. President Franklin D. Roosevelt suddenly saw gold hoarding as a national security. In response, in 1933, Roosevelt issued Executive Order 6102, forbidding the hoarding of gold coin, gold bullion, and gold certificates within the continental United States. Americans were ordered to give up their gold coins to the Federal Reserve at an exchange rate of roughly $20 per ounce. That was unacceptable for Garcia, who would have been paid about $10,000, more than $230,000 in today's money, if he had given up his gold. Instead, he quietly began burying the coins in a crawl space beneath his home on St. Joseph Street in San Diego. His treasure was a well-kept secret. He shared its existence only with his daughter, Gloria, and her husband, Hector Lopez, both of whom earned degrees from the University of Texas at Austin in the 1940s a rarity for Hispanics at the time. After serving in the military during World War II, Hector earned a law degree from Baylor Law School. After Garcia died in 1964, his son-in-law made several forays into the crawl space but never found the gold coins. In 1976, Gloria and Hector Lopez sold the home to a distant cousin named Alejandro Lopez. For a while, at least, the gold stash was forgotten. Twenty-six years later, the home developed plumbing issues, and Alejandro Lopez called on the town plumber, Serafin Trevino, to fix a leak. Trevino went to the house and brought his girlfriend, Connie Mosley. Trevino entered the crawl space beneath the kitchen to get to the source of the leak, while Mosley waited for him in the kitchen. As he dug around wet earth to expose a leaking sewer line, Trevino found the gold coins.